Okay, here's part five. Sorry for the abrupt <clears throat> ending there. <clears throat> My laptop was running on reserve power and I needed to plug it in. So <clears throat> we're trying to decide where this G fits in. And we're going to do it by listening to the recording here. All right, so we hear this. We hear this. And then we hear the left hand doing this. <clears throat> so I'm just going to raise this G and I'm going to listen for it and see where it comes in. Hear that? First listen for that low G and then the high one. Now, see where it comes in here. Here it comes in afterwards. Alright, so we're really, this is really... Um, You know, really detailed. You really got to get in there and, and listen. And it's really what's involved if you want to really play by ear and, and play exactly what uh, your favorite artists are playing. So I'm going to put it right afterwards. I'm going to put a little line here to show that it's all by itself. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, there's a little bit more, I think, with the right hand. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. So here's, here's like, sounds like it just comes back down. Okay. Now, of course, I already know what the, the notes are here. I'm just kind of going through the middle process that, that uh, you'll probably have when you're doing this yourself. Bum, 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 bum. We just go back down to the D and the B. Put that afterwards. Okay. Now it could have been something else. It could be something that's not GBD, but I want to do it simply so we get the concept down, the, the idea of how to do this. But it could have been this. See, that could have been an F natural in there. Even if we're in the key of G, we could have had an F natural. <clears throat> and uh, you'd have had to go through one. You have da, 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 bum, bum. Stop your recording there and get that note. Write it down and then go to the next one. So. Uh, you know, it could have been something else, but... Now let's listen again. We're going to go to another chord here. So remember, we're listening to bass note first. Hear that? Does it go up or down? It goes down. So let's get that bass note first. It's not F sharp. It's not F natural. put an E here. <clears throat> now, we can look at this part right here, and we can hear the rest of the chords, uh, you know, we just have different chords. Well, we're going to model the rest of the chords after this, because music happens in pattern. So if we have this here this way, then we change chords, it's probably going to be very similar to this pattern, just on a different chord. Really, that happens so much. <laughs> So can I expect <clears throat> maybe a high E here? Let's hear, let's listen and hear if, um, if we hear a high E there. Hear it? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the E in there somewhere over here. Now let's listen to the right hand. that together. Now I'm just going to stop the recording at the very next note. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, no, bum bum, no, bum bum. And then after we finish this chord, uh, I want you to try to figure out the rest of the recording, doing it the same way we've been doing it. And uh, then I'll, I'll show you what's actually being played. Bum bum bum. You may be able to get to where you do, you know, two or three notes at one time. Bum 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 bum. There it is. 
is. So I'm going to put an E here. Now, I want you to listen to something on this E. Okay, if you see if you hear something else when we get to that E. Hear that? It was an octave. Now, if you hear, when you hear an octave, it's going to kind of bust out a little bit. It'll kind of have a little more shine to it. That's the only way I can describe it. Hear that? Add a little more. Yeah, I could have done that here. And Elton John did this type of accompaniment all the time. So I'm going to just put an E here. Put those together. And then it ends with a B, G. And I don't want to go through the whole you know, thing like this because you need to get where you, you try it by yourself. Um, so I'm going to have the recording play again. I'll play it one more time and then I'll show you what I played. So, you want to stop the recording or stop this video and go back and listen to it. Try to finish the rest of it on your own. But this is what I had for the rest of it. I just, let's see. I had a C, E, G there. Bum, 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 continuing in the same pattern as these other two chords here. Uh, actually, that should have went down there. Okay. Uh, and the octave was C to C. All right, so there you'd have the, and then for the next chord, in the right hand I had D, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, ba, 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 ba. and in the left hand I had a D octave, following the same you know pattern we did there, and then the last chord was a G chord, and you can hear the if you listen for the top note you hear it's a G. And then in the left hand. Now, one thing I, I wouldn't do is don't get too hung up on trying to play exactly, exactly what you know recording has, uh, because you know you take a a a pianist, you know he's a, a vocalist, and you go to their concert and hear them do their song. They'll do it different every time. Uh, they probably couldn't tell you what they played exactly on their recording. In fact, I probably guarantee you they couldn't know, you know exactly what they played on the recording uh, when they did it. Because uh, when you play by ear, you kind of, you know, depending on how you feel at the moment, you'll change things here and there, especially with rhythms on the, the left hand and filling in and so forth. <clears throat> but uh, don't get too hung up on playing, you know, exactly what's, what's on there, because sometimes you can't hear it. Sometimes the piano part is covered up some, and uh, you have to guess a little bit. <clears throat> And if the piano part is covered up, you know, you got to go by the bass guitar and then you have to listen to the, you know, whatever else is playing uh, the uh, rhythm guitar and figure out what chord by listening there. And that <clears throat> takes some more practice hearing other instruments and transferring them to piano. <clears throat> but this is the basics. And uh, those five steps that I gave you, it's really what I use. And I, I do it really quickly now because I've done it for so long, but that's really the process. And, uh, you know, and... And your two accompaniment styles, you're, you know, you're kind of plotting a chord accompaniment in the right hand, uh, block chords, and then taking those chords and arpeggiate them and doing all sorts of things with them. Uh, you know, combining those two styles is really, you know, the two main types of piano accompaniment you'll hear out there even today. So hopefully these videos uh, get you started on doing that. And... Uh, and if I get some more requests for advanced ear training and, and so forth, uh, we can do that too. But hope you enjoy it.